you for hanging out with me for a little bit longer. Okay. Um, I wanted to kind of get into some of your top recommendations for how to get your home, like preparing your house and the things that you do, some top tips for photographing your house to sell. I know we were talking about like the prep part a little bit. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So, so these are some things that the, uh, the homeowners can do to prep before the photo shoot. Um, trying to start prepping a few days before, um, it's going to make it easier on you. So you're not trying to do everything in one day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess we'll start from the exterior. You kind of work inside. Yeah, sure. Um, so with the exterior, mowing the lawn and picking weeds, mm-hmm. that's, that's a really big thing. It can make a big difference in the exterior. It's just messy if you don't. Exactly. It's mm-hmm. very messy. And it can be a beautiful house, but a messy lawn is going to really take it down quite a few notches. Right. So you want to make sure the lawn is in tip-top shape. Yeah. Um, another thing would be moving cars out of the driveway. Oh. <laughs> so yes. That is I something know. that really helps. And you'd be surprised how many times I go and they're like, oh, well, this person's car is in the driveway and they're not home and they can't move it. And yeah. out. then the car's stuck in the it's driveway. It's, yeah. a, it's a big distraction that covers part of the house, you know. Right. So you want to get those cars out, park them on the side of the street. Unless it's like a luxury um, list and you have like Maserati. Right. right. <laughs> it's part of the lifestyle. That exactly. You're I agree. Yeah. Then yeah, then move the cars out. Um, another thing would be like uh, to take the robot pool cleaner out of the pool. Okay. It can be a little distracting. Yeah. You know, you've got this beautiful pool, and then you've got like a big right. robot thing in the middle of it. It's it's, it's distracting, so I like to take those things yeah. out. Um, and then I guess moving inside. Um, one thing that you can do is obviously decluttering. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, moving stuff off of counters and, you know, clearing the floors, mm-hmm. you're just making spaces look a lot bigger, more open, right. clear, clean, you know, that's an obvious one. Sure. Um, another thing that's, that's not obvious would be cleaning mirrors. This is something I see a Ugh. lot in like bathrooms, especially there's mm-hmm. toothpaste on the mirror mm-hmm. there's streaks on yeah. the mirrors. So yeah, go around, clean all of the glass, you know, the windows, mm-hmm. the mirrors, and um, that'll look a lot better in the photos. It's a great tip. Um, yeah, turning off the ceiling fans is another thing. Oh, um, yes, I know. A lot of people don't think about that. Yeah. It so looks weird. It's just, it's just a big blur. It's a big you know? blur, yeah. You it's don't. like, it's, is there a ghost on the ceiling? Yeah. Or what's happening? It's not cute. You don't want that. I want to look at the exercise. <laughs> um, so another thing would be, like, in the kitchen, um, we're removing all the refrigerator magnets. Oh. It looks very cluttered. The other day, I went into a house, and they collect a magnet for every, like, state and country oh, that they go cute. to, which is cool. Yeah. But there was probably, like, a hundred magnets I mean these people love to travel so yeah there's like a hundred magnets all over the fridge and you know stainless steel appliances are you know kind of the star of the kitchen and right. so you don't want them all cluttered up by other things you yeah. want them to showcase and you know present themselves exactly without being all covered up mm-hmm. um so another thing would be to turn off the tvs um, it was funny cause I, I was looking at bad MLS photos one day. Oh. Those are so funny to look through. Those are my favorite. And, uh, there, there was a TV on in the living room and it, it said something about like murderer on the loose. <laughs> it's like, Oh, you don't That's want that in your marketing. It's really niche marketing for the true crime fans out there. They're like, <laughs> yeah. this is a piece of memorabilia. And right. You're really trying to target Zach Baggins from, uh, you know, ghost adventures. <laughs> yeah. You want to sell to him. That's good. Everybody else. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So another thing um, is just in all aspects, making the home as neutral as possible. Mm-hmm. So this means, you know, neutral wall colors. If you've got crazy colors all over the house, you might want to consider painting before doing the photos and right. showings and trying to sell. It's really going to appeal to a wider audience mm-hmm. if you do that. Um, and then just, just being neutral with everything. So as far as like politics and religion go, you might want to take those things down that might be offensive to some people. You want to just be neutral. Yeah. Yeah. So right. with, uh, especially also with holidays, holiday uh, decorations can really date a listing. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if it's April and I'm looking at photos and there's Halloween decorations, I automatically know how long this house has been for sale. And I'm wondering what's wrong. With yeah. It. We've all seen that for sure. Yeah. And immediately you're like, Oh, that hasn't sold. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, another thing is kids' rooms is, uh, you know, they're going to have toys everywhere. (laughs) You know, it is what it is. But try to organize them as best as possible. Maybe put them all in in bins, you know. Right. Try to organize it so it's not You can make it look cute that way. Yeah. You know? Exactly. You can stage it and make it look cute. Exactly. Definitely. Um, So, yeah. Those are some of my top tips. All right. I love it. Um, Always, always good information. Um, and like you said, it's just some things that maybe you wouldn't think of, you know, mm-hmm. like the Christmas decorations, but it's like, that's so true. Yeah. You know, if something's been on the market forever, that's like a really quick indicator. Exactly. 
Okay, cool. Oh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to ask you. I can't remember it. Is there anything else that's like a big no-no? I've got these notes right here. Uh-huh. Let me go over there real quick. I, I think will. I hit everything. Oh, 16 journals over there. I'm always taking notes. <laughs> I'm old um, school. Okay, so I can see three more things. Pets, light bulbs, and soap bottles. Oh. Uh, so yeah. putting pets away during the uh, duration of the photo shoot really as helps. As much as we love pets. And I know you yes. have a little doggy, right? I, I do. do. What's your dog's name? Cody. How long is Cody? He's three. He's a little pet detour. He's a schnoodle. Oh, okay. He's so super cute. He, a schnauzer and a poodle. Oh, adorable. He's, he's like the thick. And he's furry and white. I know. He's very cute. So we all love our pets, but maybe... We love our pets, but, you know, for the photo shoot... Not does. Yeah. So you don't want to necessarily put them front and center in the photos. Exactly. So um, it, it was funny. I, I had a photo shoot where there was, I think, four cats and three dogs. Mm-hmm. And they didn't want to put them away. And so they were almost in every shot. <laughs> and I tried yeah. working around it as much as possible, mm-hmm. but they're like roaming around the house. So yeah. that makes my job very difficult. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I saw one the other day where it was really cute. They had the dog like holding like a welcome home sign in front of the door. Oh, and that's cute. I think that's cute. But again, exactly. you know, I mean, it's like some people, I, I, listen, I love animals. All my animals are rescues. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's like, I'm really passionate about that. But you definitely... I think it's always best to maybe, you know, just put them up for the showing, get them out of the shot, you know, because not everybody has an animal or wants an animal, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bad MLS photos, I think I saw somebody where it was like, they're holding the baby, you know, somebody (laughs) commented, it's a baby cover. What's what's happening here? Baby special. I know. So it's like, you just get that stuff out, right? Depersonalize it and let them kind of put themselves into it. Mm All right, cool. Oh, so, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, there were two more things. So yeah. with the uh, with bathrooms, I, okay. I feel like soap bottles really clutter mm-hmm. up. Just like the refrigerator magnets right. clutter up the fridge, the soap bottles well, really like clutter up. Decorative. Those are fine. Okay. If they're decorative, you don't and want they like don't a have soft Yeah, you don't want like <laughs> three for teeth in the corner and yeah. you know, like a big bottle, you know. Yeah. It's it's a little dry, especially they all come in like neon colors, I feel right. like, and they yeah. just, they're very distracting. Draws the eye to it exactly. rather than looking at the features of the bathroom. Exactly. So to, to clear those things out is best. And then um, my last tip is probably one of the best ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so light bulbs. Mm-hmm. Um, it really helps if the light bulbs are bright white and they're mm-hmm. more of a blue tone than a yellow tone. Because if you've oh, got okay. like dim yellow lights everywhere, yeah. it makes it a lot harder to photograph. Okay, that's a great point. So that is, it, it's something small that you can do that it's going to show better. You know, right. when you're doing showings, it's going to be bright, white, lit up, look clean. Yeah. Um, dim yellow lights are just never very appealing. So yeah. changing out the light bulbs is, is a really good tip. All right, I love it. That's all some easy stuff that people can do to kind of make it optimized. I mean, the goal is to get some more money. So yeah. put in the best light. Exactly. Right, thank you so much. Thank you.